to this door here. Um, so last time we were here, we got um, a really nice orb that came out of the mirror. A lot of times, I can see them fly by, I can feel them. But, um, so Plasma Plasma John Doe posed the question that when I wave my hand, can I feel the energy? And yes, I feel energy, and that's why I move my hands that way. And also, um, these plasma creatures, they like movement, so they'll, when I move my arm, they will move in that direction, and then when I stop my hand, they'll keep going. It's almost like they're chasing my hand. So that's why I do that. It tends to get them excited. So, But I just want you guys to know I'm new to the paranormal community, and you guys have welcomed me with open arms. I appreciate that. I've met some incredible spirit beings. Um, just to name a few, um, I just met a new <clears throat> spirit being, um, um <clears throat> so, um, her name is Joan Thomas, the orb magnet. We want to give honor to her. She's a very special person. Um, she has a lot of energy and energy fields around her, and I hope you guys will subscribe to her channel. I will put the link in below. Um, and we've met Plasma Plasma John Doe, and now we have a new friend, the Orb Magnet, um, and we'll be watching her videos. And we also have another new friend. Um, the Orb Whisperer, and he is completely off the hook with his orbs. They float around in front of his camera for, he told me the longest one was like a minute and 45 seconds, which is absolutely awesome. So I hope you guys will subscribe to his channel too, and I'll put the link down below. But man, the paranormal community is just treating me so good. Um, I want to give a shout out to Matthew Jackson, the wizard from the Paraholics, um, Goo Goo the Magnificent, Zeke the Freak. Man, I have some really killer friends. And then I want to introduce you to my orbs. Come out, orbs. Come on out of the mirror. Say hi to the people. Vape Walker, come on out. Plasma Walker. Now we have a new Plasma Walker. He gets on this board over here. As the sun filters through the window, the plasma's on the board, and these orbs feed off this plasma, and it gives them energy. It's amazing. I've just seen it two days ago. So we're learning stuff every day about what we can do and what we're observing. So maybe I'll get a video of it here in a minute. I can see it working right now. So this plasma uh, coming through the window is something really unique. Um, that I think we could learn a lot from. And so we'll, I'll turn the camera on it here in a few. But um, yeah, thank you, Joan Thompson, or Joan Thomas, I'm sorry. Joan Thomas, the War Magnet, you're awesome. Um, I'm going to buy a crystal two days from now. I'm going to bring it down here from, um, from your advice and see um, if the orbs are plasma creatures um, if they like the crystal I'm going to give it a try so thank you for your advice and I love seeing your crystals on your video you're awesome keep up the videos because we love them so anyway um, I'm starting to feel an energy field I can feel it in my fingers tips and my arms right now yeah, explosion. Come on out of the mirror, sir. Introduce yourself. We have several different types of orbs in this house. 
And you guys sometimes will say, why do we see you hanging out at the graveyard in the daytime? And um, I'm just going there and collecting orbs and bringing them home to my house. So they have a wide variety. And I have a wide variety at home. So, but um, I just wanted to explain that to you. I'm not into death, but I am into living creatures. And plasma creatures are alive, so... I don't know why they hang out at the graveyard. I don't know why they hang out at AMC theaters either. <laughs> so, wherever I go, their orbs are there. The hospital, the tanning bed, um, you name it. I've, I've, I've seen orbs everywhere, so. Um, but the thing of it is, what I wanted to tell you guys is that I'm using a $40 Android phone for all the videos that you've seen, I have like 220. So, you don't think that you have to go high tech to get paranormal activity. I have an $8 tripod and a $40 phone. But I do think, and I would suggest this to Plasma, Plasma John Doe, <clears throat> that I believe the light that is on your camera is the important part. I believe it needs to be um, um, well the, I, I just think the light needs to be right. Some of the lights on cameras don't pick up the things that I do um, but it, it needs to be ultraviolet light sir. So if you could try ultraviolet light when you do your videos, I guarantee it might help you. Not that you need help. You've helped me more than I could ever help you. So, But I thought maybe I could pass it on to you. Um, but I, I, uh, I love my phone. It's $40. But, you know, if you want me to tell you the, the style and brand of the phone, you might want to purchase one because... They are really, uh, the lighting on it really picks up orbs nicely, so I don't know why. But I've had someone with an iPhone here and my phone here, and we're both observing orbs, but this person's iPhone doesn't see nothing. My phone picks up the orbs, and I know it's because of the spectrum of light. 